Hi guys, this is a demonstration of how to make a value spectrum in black and white acrylic paint. Uh, one of two demonstrations and uh, uh, please follow along making your own value a spectrum as I demonstrate this and uh, just pause it whenever, pause the video whenever you need to. So this is the equipment that you'll need to begin with your uh, sketchbook, your arts process journal, and acrylic paints. You may have gotten a set like this or your tubes may look smaller, but what you need is of course the white and the black. The rest we can set aside. Uh, you'll need a brush. You may have received something like this. Um, now, or other, uh, another kind of brush, but pick maybe this brush here that is about one quarter of an inch wide. And then of course you'll need water. This is an old uh, dahi uh, container. You could use any old thing, any old glass or plastic container. Uh, you'll need a palette, which is basically just a plate. Uh, this is an old plastic plate. You can use a steel plate or even a paper plate if you need to. And then have a rag handy. All right. To begin with, let's open up our arts process journals, our sketchbooks, to a fresh page and go ahead and put the date here. I'll put the 10th of August uh, 2020 and put a title. I'll put here value spectrum. Okay, to begin with, the first one we're going to do is a series of nine squares and going from white and changing in value all the way to black. And uh, just, I want to encourage you just to do this rough. Um, don't try to uh, you, you can use a, uh, a scale, a ruler if you want to, uh, but it's, it's more just for the practice. Let me see, four. Okay, I'm not going to get all my nine in here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try it with eight. Okay, this is, I'm doing it rough on purpose because we, the I, perp idea of this is um, not so much to get these perfect squares, but just to, but to get the practice turn being able to change the value in each of these from white all the way through to black. And we might have to do this once or twice because um, to, to, as we learn what happens when we mix paints and with, as we learn how to uh, mix paints and create different uh, values. Okay, I'm going to start with the black there and I'm going to put a little bit of white there. Now you don't need a lot. You can always get, take more. I got some paint on my hand. That's why the rag is very helpful. And the uh, this is about uh, about um, the size of a, uh, a I don't know how what what size that would be, <laughs> but about almost the size of your fing a fingernail. I'll put it that way, maybe. Okay or the tip of your pinky. That would be about the size of that. So let's start with white. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of, let me bring my water in here so you can see a little bit, a little bit better. I'm going to take a, take a little bit of water there and uh, uh, I can keep my r rag handy and uh, pick up some of the white paint with my brush, right? Now let me go to this first box and pretty roughly, I'm going to just fill that in. Okay, the whole purpose here is to get get a nice white layer onto that. Um, you can do vertical strokes and horizontal strokes just to get a nice even cover. Again, don't worry; it doesn't have to be a perfect square. The whole idea here is your your the the, the what's more important is the the value. Okay. So now, the first thing I'm going to do is pick up some of my white here and uh, place it in the middle. In fact, I'm going to take most of my white. I'm going to leave a little bit there on the side in case I need to uh, need some of that. This is my mixing area. And I'm going to start to with a slight dab of, I've picked up just a little bit of black there, and I'm going to mix this in. Now, what I want to do is mix all of it because as we go along, we're going to, after every square, we're going to add a little bit more of the black into this central mixture here. Right? So we're gradually making it turn from a white white uh, uh, to a darker value until we end up with this value here. Okay, so I've added a little bit of, uh, of the black there and 
Again, I'm going to fill in that square, I'm not worrying too much of that it's, it's a perfect square, but more I want a good amount of paint on that. I don't want it to be dry. I want it to cover the paper completely. And put, doing it with these vertical or horizontal and vertical strokes keeps it kind of nicely um, distributed. All right, now let's go and again pick up just a little bit of that black paint and mix that in. As you can see, it's turning, it's changing its value, right? It's turning darker. So value is all about lightness and darkness. It's one of the most important aspects of painting. Okay, so here you can already see that there's a change, a gradual change in the um, value. Okay, I'm going to again pick up some more of this black and mix this in now to the same and just make sure that all of it gets mixed because and I'm going to, do you see what I'm doing here? I'm kind of pushing down on on the the part where the this, the hair meets the metal because that's there's there's paint jammed up inside there so by pushing down there like this i'm able to get that paint out and mix it in and get the nice even mix because i need that even mix because every time i add more i want it to be um, even i want it to change evenly all right we're getting a little bit darker and we repeat ourselves again. Again, a little bit, just a bit of black each time, about the same amount of black. Okay, making sure all of it gets mixed. And again, pushing that point where the hair meets the metal to push out that extra paint that's jammed in there. And I've got a nice smooth mixture here. And I'm going to put this down like this. As you can see, I'm not really caring so much about the boxes and I'm just getting these squares basically down. I'm going to add a little bit more black now, extra black, because I, I have to reach pure black by the end there and I'm realizing maybe I'm, it's changing a little bit too slowly. So I'm going to increase my amount of black to make the value get darker, quicker. Uh, I think I need even more. If I had more boxes, it would not matter. But because we have eight boxes here, and it's it's really it's a bit of a, like trial and error. But in the process, you're learning about what it takes for um, how the amount of paint, how much that can change uh, your your value. Okay. So I've got two more. I, by the end there, I want it to be completely black. So it's pretty dark gray right now, but I'm going to get add a, even more black to get it really super dark gray so that the last one then, when it jumps over to completely black, it's, it's not too big a change. Now these grays are looking very similar, but let's see. Okay, and then... Now my last one, I want it to be black. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean my brush because if I try to pick up the, the black as it is right now, I'll get some of this gray in it. Right? So this is one of the important things about working with colors that sometimes you just need a br to completely clean your brush. This is where the rag really comes in handy. The first step is you take your dry rag and you just you pull off as much of the paint as you can like that and then you dip it in the water for the remaining and the way I get the remainder off is I kind of rub it along the bottom but I don't want to re push it down and and this and uh, end up destroying these the the, the, the tip of the, the the hair of the brush I'm kind of pushing it down and then wiping it this way and that way against the bottom of the um, of my my water container here okay so I'm wiping it like this so getting, just to get the water again up into the hairs, right? So that it, it cleans again the paint that gets jammed in up there. Okay, now that I've got that, I'll, I'll take my rag and I'll dry my brush because I don't want too much, if I, there's too much water on that, my paint gets really runny 
and it's hard to manage. So right now, the consistency of acrylic when it paint when it comes out of the tube is actually perfect. So that's why I'm, I'm working with a dry brush. I pick up that acrylic, the left over there. In fact, there was a little bit of gray on there, so I'm just going to put, put that down. And I'm going to go in for my last uh, box here. All right. Okay, so that turned out fairly even. Now, what you might find is as you go along, by the time you reach the last, last box, you might be at this amount of gray, right? So if that happens, no problem. You have learned something and just start again. And you can, it works, it actually goes super fast. So I'm, I, I would, I'm gonna do another one and just make my boxes a little bit smaller. I'm gonna try and fit more boxes in there because I kind of want more than eight because I think it, there was, I ended up, um, Let's see, I, I don't even know how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I made nine. Okay, and what I would do is if, I've, if I'm starting uh, again, and I won't uh, for the sake of the length of this video, but I would say, okay, I need to, I'm going to make a new one. So let me grab some white and put a, uh, a dab of it here. Okay, again, you didn't need a lot because as you can see, there's still some left over over there. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I've got, still got some black from here, but I needed some more white because you need more of the white than the black. And I'm going to pick that up, or I, in fact, I could just work from there because I've got this little extra part here in case I need some extra. And I will, I'll go back to, the beginning. I pick up just a little bit of that black, just a tiny little bit, and mix it in with my white. All right, and I've got kind of a light gray now. Ah, now notice what I forgot to do was put in the white there. But let me go ahead and put in this gray, okay? And then go back and push that the rest of that gray out there from under inside. And then I would need to uh, clean my brush if I wanted to make that white. And so I've got my dry, clean brush here. I pick up that white and I go ahead and fill in that first one, which I'd forgotten to fill in. Okay, and now um, let me go back and clean my brush again. Because if I put white, my white brush into this gray mixture is going to turn it light again, value, but my, I want to take that light, this gray, and turn it a little bit darker. And so, once again, I pick up a little bit of that black and mix in, make sure the whole thing is a nice, even gray, and it's turned darker, as you can see. And again, go ahead. So, I'm going to leave it at that, guys, but I hope you get the idea. The, the key is, start with a white and add little bits of black into that same mixture as you go along. And second point is that if you don't, if you reach the end and you haven't been able to hit the black, start again. And this time, mix a little bit extra black in. Every, take a little, pick up a little bit more of the black every time you, you create the next uh, mixture of value and you'll find that you'll get to the black quicker. So this is a good way to learn how to mix colors as well as how to get um, uh, how to understand uh, different shades of value.